The latest negotiations between Ameris Talc America and its union workers wrapped up this week. The union workers have been locked out of the plant close to six weeks while the company and workers try to hammer out a new contract. MTN's Medeiros Bab was in Three Forks today. Former employees continue to protest outside the mill. These workers have been here every day for the past month. After almost two days of mediation, they were planning to get back to work. We're hopeful that we could get back in here by this weekend. That's not going to happen. In an email statement released by Emirates, the company stated that they think they offered a fair and reasonable offer, increasing pay by 3%, offering new bonuses of up to 10%, and a 401k match of up to 7%. Union President Randy Tossi says this is the same deal the company has offered in the past. I don't know what it's going to take for them to try to come and make at least some type of an offer that's different from what they've offered the last four times. It's been rejected four times soundly, but at this point in time, they're not willing to do that. Dan Shadell worked for the plant for 19 years. He says as each day goes by, a little more hope is lost. Pretty saddening, really. You know, you, you put your, your heart and soul into a place for that many years and then have them just come into your work area and tell you you're no longer needed or we don't want you here. It's a, it's a bad deal. Tossie says the union will continue to protest outside of the company, pursue unfair labor practice legal action, and put pressure on Emirates until they can get back to work. That was our Madaris Bab reporting. Now, according to the Montana Department of Labor, the 35 union workers locked out account for 13 percent of Three Forks private sector workforce. And when we come back, Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevidence will have a complete check of your forecast.